Hello, thank you for joining me. This is video number four in a series on how to create and modify a title block. So what we need to talk about in this uh, video is uh, change some of our check sizes. We're going to be working from the bottom of our title block and work our way up to the top. So we've talked about labels, we've talked about text, and we're going to change some of these. For instance, let's start with the text here, up here in regard to sheet identification. We're going to keep that text one eighth of an inch aerial. That's okay. We're going to keep that. But we're going to change this a little bit. Instead of sheet identification, I never heard of that actually, but we usually just call it sheet number, or just plain old sheet. So remember, everything is capitalized when you do this. So we're going to type in sheet number for that, and we're going to keep that the way it is. If we click down here to our label, E101. That's an okay size, but I think probably we're going to make that just a little bit bigger. It'll be three-eighths of an inch. So let's go ahead and change that. And very typical of how we change things in our Revit architecture is we go to the family and we edit the type and then we create a duplicate of it. We do want to keep it bold, so let's go to edit type, go to duplicate, and let's call it, uh, we'll keep bold, the, the bold name in here, and we'll call that three-eighths of an inch and go to OK and go down here to our text size. We're going to change that from uh, 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths, 3 divided by 8. And I believe you just do enter, it's going to assume inches. There are a few places of Revit architecture where it will assume inches, but you can put in double quotes if you like that right there. And uh, let's go down and make sure that uh, the bold is uh, clicked here. If you want to make your text bold or italic or underline to provide emphasis, you can do that. Typically in uh, title blocks you want to maintain a standard and we're just going to make this bold and that's going to be the only thing we're, we're going to change right now. So let's go to OK. And now that's, uh, ooh, that's, that's big, but it does fill it up a little bit. And that's good. That's how you change your text. In regard to size, in order to make accommodations for some of the text we want up here, because we're going to make this text a little bit bigger, we're going to have to make our title block a little bit bigger. So let's do that while we're thinking about it. Let's go ahead and change that. Right now if you click on that line, it's got a zero uh, dimension on it, so let's go ahead and click on this line and see if we got something better. It should say it's uh, 1 and 5 eighths of an inch. You can't really see it. And what we really want to do in order to accommodate that text on top is we want to make it 1 inch and 7 eighths of an inch. 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. So let's go to the home tab. Let's go to line. What we're going to do is we're going to draw some reference geometry. Because I believe if we were to stretch this out, if we were to take this line and move it, it's going to go from a quarter inch on up. What we want to do is we want to get down to an eighth of an inch. And that's really hard to pick up. and probably going to struggle with that a little bit. So let's go ahead and draw that line out. Draw a line. And it could be just any, any distance there. But as soon as we click on that line, we can take that uh, text and uh, change that. 1-7 divided by 8. Oh. Much longer than it needs to be. One space seven divided by eight inch. All right, it's a little bit better. Sorry about that. That's a nomenclature in AutoCAD to enter that, but it's just one space. Seven divided by eight double quotes will get you that inch uh, notation. Okay. Now said there, let's go ahead and move this. If you click on that line, go to the move command. It's going to pick up that reference over there. You can see the grip light up. That's good. Now that we have that drawn, let's get rid of our reference geometry. And uh, let's do our, use our align tool and line up all these other edges. This is our uh, static reference. So let's do that. We'll click on this one. We'll lock it. Click on this one. Whoop. Let's do this. Click on that one and that one. Remember, our static reference is going to be this down here. Click off to the side or escape. Let's do the same thing over here. That edge to this edge, lock it, escape, that edge, to this edge, lock it, escape, and finally, this edge, and this edge, lock it, escape. And that should be in pretty good shape. So now we need to move our text over. And uh, let's go ahead and do that right now, and then we'll save that uh, the rest of this for the next film. So remember, we moved this out by a quarter of an inch. We went from 5 sixteenths of an inch to uh, seven or five eighths of an inch to seven eighths of an inch, so that's a matter of uh, two eighths difference uh, or a quarter of an inch. So if you want to move this and align this up, we're going to have to move that out an eighth of an inch. Go to the home tab, draw some more reference geometry because an eighth of an inch is really hard to do. We drew a half an inch line out, 
Let's make that point one two five as an alternative way of uh, entering in numbers like that, and use it as our uh, as our reference here. And these are the only two items we really need to move. So with the control key, I clicked on my label and my text, and go to the move button. Pick the end point over here to the end point over there, and that should do it. So we're beginning to make modifications to this. In next uh, film, we'll go ahead and continue and finish our modifications. Now I'll show you how to do a logo in AutoCAD.